Ignite. Have you had a good week? I hope you've been able to do some fun things this week. Um, some of you might be back at nursery or school. I don't know what you've been doing, but I hope you've had a really good week. Now, you might remember in our story last week that Matt and Samuel read you the part where Pharaoh had some dreams and Joseph went to help Pharaoh understand those dreams. But Joseph told Pharaoh that it wasn't him understanding the dreams, but it was God t helping him to understand the dreams. That God gave Pharaoh those dreams. And those dreams helped um, Pharaoh and Joseph to prepare for the years of famine that were to come after they've had years of plenty, years of lots of food. So this week we're going to carry on with our story and there are some stories I thought normal underneath for you to watch and then you can come back to me and I will talk to you very briefly about what you may have watched. Off you go, three, two, one, off you go. Okay, welcome back. I hope that you enjoyed watching those stories. Now, I wonder if you have ever fallen out with somebody. Hmm. I know I have. I know I used to fall out with my brother. And I still do fall out with my brother sometimes. But I used to fall out with him because he did things that I didn't like. Or he wanted to do something different to me. And when I fell out with my brother, if I did something bad to him, there may have been something that I had to do to my brother after I knew after I knew I'd done something wrong. And I wonder if you can think what that might be. That's right. You have to say sorry. Now, the makaton is a bit like sign language. The makaton for sorry is this on your heart. So you rub your heart and say sorry. So you might have to say, I'm sorry for what I have done. I'm sorry for hurting you. I'm sorry for being unkind to you. And that's a little bit like what's going on in the story this week. Now, Joseph's brothers had to go to Egypt to get some food because they ran out where they lived in the land of Cana. Can you remember there was a big famine where there was no food to eat? And when his brothers went to Egypt, Joseph looked at these men and he knew that they were his brothers. But none of his brothers recognised Joseph. And I wonder how Joseph felt. I think he probably felt a little bit sad and a bit confused. Which is why he te tested his brothers by putting their money back in the sacks and putting the cup back in Benjamin's sack because he had to know that his brothers had really changed from when he was a young boy and when they threw him into the pit and into the well and when he revealed himself to his brothers he said it's me can you remember what his brothers said to him they said that we are sorry and sometimes we have to say sorry for things that we have done. And next week we're going to talk about what Joseph had to do when his brother said sorry. But today we're thinking about when we have to say sorry for things. Now I know I have to say sorry for things still as an adult. And I'm sure you're, I know that your mummies and daddies still have to say sorry for things they do wrong sometimes. Because we all do things wrong. The only person who doesn't do anything wrong is God, is Jesus. But sometimes we do things wrong to God and we have to say sorry to God. And if we do something wrong, we say sorry to God and God understands. And next week we're going to think a little bit about God when we say sorry and how God forgives us. So we might need to say sorry for something that we've done today or this week. I might need to say sorry for something I've done today or this week. This week, I might have, because I've been quite tired being back at school, I might have got a little bit grumpy with some of my children at school in my class. 
So I had to say sorry. I've had to say sorry to them. And I also have to say sorry to God for not always showing them his love to children at school, maybe by being a bit grumpy or by getting a bit annoyed with them sometimes. And I have to say sorry to God for all the bad things that I do. And that's what we're going to do now. We're going to say a prayer and we're going to say sorry to God. But we're going to say thank you that he forgives us as well. So let's close our eyes. God, we are sorry for when we have done those things wrong that are not the things that you want us to do. God, we're sorry for if we fall out with our brothers or sisters or are rude to our mummy and daddy or like me, I'm grumpy to the children at school sometimes and I'm sorry for that. And I ask that you will forgive us and forgive me for those things. God, thank you that the story of Joseph shows us how you can change our hearts and how Joseph's brothers really hated Joseph at the beginning of the story but now they're at a place where they can say, we are sorry for what we have done to you. God, help us to say sorry when we do things wrong. Amen. Amen. Now, I hope that you have a good week. And next week we are going to come back and we are going to finish the story of Joseph. So I hope you have a good week and I look forward to speaking to you next week. Bye bye.